Hey friends, this is Audrey and welcome back to my channel Shield Mode. So in today's video, I'm going to share the basic networking concepts. So watch this video till the end because I'm going to explain all the basic networking concepts that you must know. So without further delay, let's get into it. So friends, networking is the word people use when they are talking about connecting computers together. So they can share data with each other and connects to the internet at the same time. So let's take a closer look on key components for making it simple and easy to set up. So let's just consider as an example our body's central nervous system. So brain is like a router which handles all the traffic coming through and brain as a router connect through spines that send signal throughout the network. So now comes an important part that is switch. So what is switch? Switch is basically a device which distributes signal to all the computer and devices. So a router has a smart little computer that identifies all of the computers and devices on your network and assigns a unique number to each one also known as IP address. A router connects to the internet outside your home via a modem that can be provided by your DSL or cable internet provider. A router is always at work and it manages tons of tons of information your devices sends and receives. So how does a router actually sends information from the internet to your computer and devices? That is the most important question we ask. How does it even enable your computers to share information with each other? The answer was with that device we mentioned earlier. Remember. What is the main purpose of a switch? A switch sends traffic through your network to places that it needs to go. So it is the most important part of a networking setup. Switch helps us to send traffic signal through your network that it needs to go. Every home router has a switch with four ports built right into it. You can also use wireless router that use radio signals to do the same things as a switch and you can use the port to connect it with your computer with a LAN cable. So it's really an important part of a networking setup. Now when you are buying a router, keep this in mind, the speed of the built-in switch matters a lot. So why I am saying this? The first is switch are called gigabit and are perfect for application like streaming videos in your home. Meanwhile, router with switch called fast ethernet are great for essential tasks like web serving, email and online gaming also. Now let's say you have more than 4 devices to plug them in your router. So here's a little bit challenge, so you need a more number of ports because as you have four ports already installed on your switch so the solution is very simple you will need an additional switch and connect it to your router and you don't need an additional router as your network doesn't need two brains after all so it's really simple to understand now once again if you need a fastest switch go for a gigabit switch because these days Gigabit switch are largely used. One thing always keep in mind, some people confuse themselves with a switch and a half. Half are replaced by switch, as switches does the same thing with a lot more speed and smartness. So what we learned is, a router and a switch and a network cables all came together to create a fast and reliable wired network. So this is pretty much simple and you don't have to get confused about hubs, router, switch. So friends, this is all about today's video. 
So friends, thanks for watching this video and if you like this video, just let me know in the comment section below and like, share, subscribe. So we'll catch up in my next video. Till then, bye.